So um, you've yeah, been at the garden a lot over the past couple of years. What's some of your more memorable events, sports or otherwise? Well, uh, just the Knicks games are so fun. It's so fun to go and yell and get that aggression out and make people go, yeah, shoot. You know, <laughs> that's you, always fun. You become a, a good compliment to Spike Lee on oh, the sidelines. Really? Yeah, you. wearing your Knicks jersey and everything. I appreciate it. So what does this event mean to you? It just, it's, it's, you know, it's helping helping people who need help. Like that's like you know what you get into it for anyway. It's just like maybe my name can actually get on something that can help actual real people, and these people actually help a lot of kids. And, and to help kids is part of the future. You know what I'm saying? It's just like they and they help over three hundred thousand kids a year. That's what's incredible and stay in their life. How does your story, your perseverance, inspire kids? Well, I hope that when kids look at me, they think to stay strong. I mean, it's just more of like not an option to to not keep going. Mm -hmm. It's just not an option. Right. Just keep going no matter what. No matter what. Funny question. I saw that you, you played a little basketball. How were you on the court? Oh, I was the bomb. Oh, I was the bomb. I was like a, a force. I could my rebounds and block shots is what Did I was known for. My intimidation. The Liberty needs some minutes this year. You got them. I don't know. I'd rather play for the Knicks, man. The Knicks is the one who need me right now. <laughs>